social media pressure, finances, being broke, relationships. These are some of the things that are actually affecting young people in this particular country. On this week's episode on Teen Republic, segment the hangout to Kondani Agretsa University in Thika to copy with Kuchapia and comrades what are some of their personal experiences. Join me as we catch a chat. Let's go. What is mental health? I know we've been hearing this word being thrown around, but what is mental health? Especially in the African setup, we are usually accused of not taking good care of our mental health. We don't look at it as a normal thing when the therapy is So, Mr. Gretza, how do you understand mental health? Thank you for this opportunity. My name is Richard Omondi. I'm the current Mr. Grace University. So according to me, I think mental health is how we manage our emotions. Yes, how do we, uh, how do we control the stigmas, the things that roll in our minds? How do we manage the peer pressure around us? And how do we take care of these emotions? We will also be getting some stories from some of you. Zile vitu zenye mlipitia. Unajua kuna vitu zenye probably ulipitia and it almost tampered with your, with your mental health. You, you almost went eh, the other side. Uh, like I was telling you that uh, the, there's a lady who was saying she was dumb. Tali kwa broken baka kanza kupika ugali na ungea chapo. Anashangamone ugali ishikani because the mind is not there. So mental health is really, really important and we should not just ignore it. Tumesikia from the guy. So I think I'll give one of the ladies peer. Eh? Tunatakiwe gender balance. Atuambie eh, what do they understand by mental health before we get to eh, the session where you'll be telling us some of the things ulipitia. Zenye Kidogo, they almost uh, destabilized you. My name is Masu Angoi, and I think mental health is how well your brain can take stress. Na unaweza kukopa na your stress. Hello, dear students. Kwanza pole kwa kwa itadia. Ni mimi tu, sona mba msini confused na customer care. Sena ito fesi, na nikona story. So story, story, sema story comes. Story comes. You see... So God, na filnika ni mekuwa mbali na wewe for some time. Na filnika ile love nilikuwa nayo kwa kwa imekuwa broken into pieces of late. Of late ni mekuwa nikiandika too my love pieces. In which ina comes ina lose, meaning nikisha lose hiyo feeling of late. Mejifanya nikiwa busy nikichat na mikrash. Hata ile application ya Bible nilikuwa nayo kwa phone nili delete. Dio ni pata space ya kandi crash of late. Nimekuwa na emptiness kwa heart. Juni wangapi wa many heart. Nilitha ni love ime take over. Kumbe sadness is the only thing they can offer. Watajifanya wana kupenda. Then finally, watawungeza chumvi wa kiku insult. Matusi. I was blinded to see. Blinded to see le love ulikome ni patia. Zile promises ulikome fulfill. Sio kaza binadamu. Wataku promise making you look like a fool. Na wakisha zi break. Awata jali ata venye utafil. So God, ni marangapi ni mesini na tujai break up. Ni mara ngapi nimekuwa attracted to you na ujai paka makeup? Ni mara ngapi nime go down to my knees niki ask for forgiveness? I'm so sure I'm sure so less na car rocks zinaweza speak zinaweza zamani countless. Hakuna time nili shine kama jua but always will need my son so God narudi kama sina. Juni itakuwa na danganya nikisema dhambi sina. So I want to to share something small and then tawape a chance ya ku react to it in terms of some of the things that you did as a new Nijipatia and necessary responsibilities. I want to start with the first point. The first thing that I think is the major contributor in our Tampana mental health here, many young people. Uh, the number one thing I always tell people is a false sense of responsibility. Nataka kui explain and then wapatia pia chance mu react. By a false sense of responsibility, na manisha kujiekia wifey duties, ama husband duties, when you are still a girlfriend or a campus student, na unenda nga kwaki unamfulia, unosha viombo, unampigia pasi. I know most of us here, you are guilty of that. Sindi wa mumejipatia wifey duties. Izo na mtutataka mfunguke mtambia watu leo. You are not God. Acha kujieke a false responsibility. I want us to do a simple arithmetic. Nataka, nataka kuauliza, nataka tuchukwe an average. Mtaniambia, sorry, you will tell me at what age. Would you like to get married or for the men? Ungependa kuwa sindio. Nataka tutufanya small experiment. So ita kwa random. Na, nataka tutuseme eh, numbers randomly. EC exam. Useme kwa nataka kuolewa by 25. Sema by 30. So are we ready for the experiment? Okay. Eh, let's start with the guys. To what age would you feel this is the right time? 
ningetaka kusetle na na dem am nelson ouma currently the school president i personally would like that uh, it is good to go to go when uh, i hit that okay. <laughs> yeah mesema angependa kukua eh, angependa kuwa by 30 so i want a lady uh, dem atuambia angependa kusetle at a, at what age my name is rosalina kumu and for me the age i would like to get married is 27 aya makofi kwake I want us to take the average. Chali ametuambia yenge penda kusetwa lakiwa 30. Nadem So average tuseme tuchukue kama 28 for both of us eh, madem na about tuseme tungependa kusetwa lat 28, si ndio? Remember we are doing a small experiment and then now the final question. Nataka pia watu wawili watuambie at what age eh, you unge wish kukufokiwa all some people say 90 wengine wanataka kuish forever. So I also want somebody to tell us ungetaka kukufa ukiwa na miaka ngapi? Oh, I'm Cancelo Arigia and mimi ningependa kukuwa nikio 70 haya 70 wacha tusikie from a, a guy also my name is victor and i would like to die at the age of maybe 90 because sija sijaeka sana na eh 90 kwa sawa we have gotten the average for ya kusettle sasa tuchukue ya kukufa so kuna 90 na 70 to settle for gani 90 watu wanataka the higher cuz akuna mtu anataka kukufa mapema can't you to do 90 minus 28 to see the number of years you will be married what is 90 minus 28 62 so this is my question if you are going to be married for 62 years and you already having sex right now utafanya nini kwa marriage what will you be doing in marriage because we are doing these things now the wifey duties imagine and you are just 20 when it in you are 18 and then that's why i'm saying you will get married as we have agreed ninyi mmeleta hiyo statistics at 28 averagely utakufa at 90 you will be married for 62 years utafanya nini for 62 years kama for saa hii hapa greater unachafua kuchafua eh watu wanakujua si si mnajua hii maneno eh sasa mnaka innocent ni kama hata mjuche yeye anasema so now tunaza with our, with with our i think twaze na mr greater i would say a peer pressure in campus mm-hmm. yeah peer pressure in campus you know to drive kufanya a lot of things that we really don't want to do yeah because but because of uh, you're having that fear of losing or fear of being left out eh uh, tunajipata tunajiweka these uh, responsibilities uh, these husband responsibilities or boyfriend responsibilities we just have a feeling that if you are youth in campus it's right for you to do that yeah and you, by the time you're getting your 28 year settle and stuff you don't struggle yeah so <laughs> as every man I'm as every youth there is this narrative that is built that a lady if you want to impress a lady there are some uh, things you have to do as a man yeah you have to take them uh, you have to take her to out you know you have to buy for her some stuff clothes shoes whereas uh, that is the responsibility of her father but just you don't want to be left out nataka tuangalie point number 2 and remember number 1 mesema don't have a false sense of responsibility number 2 isn't it points rahisi sana uh, at this juncture kitu mko nayo yenye ni advantage i want to talk about is age age kuna hii eh, statistics ni kwataka kuambia that it was found that eh, the human brain wanasema it finishes its full development at age 25 na hiyo part ya mbele inaitwa prefrontal cortex that part is the one yenyeko responsible for calculating consequences and rational thinking so you can imagine if the part yenye ina iko responsible for calculate consequences inamaliza ku develop at 25 Nani hapa amefika 25? So it means all of you mnafaa kwa na sticker on your forehead written brain under construction. So that means sasa ile boy anakaa anakwambia yeye nataka kukujua. Yeye mwenyewe hata hajamaliza kujijua. Sasa anataka kukujua ni yeye mwenyewe hata hajamaliza kujijua. Yeye mwenyewe kwanza afike 25 amalize kujijua ndio akuje akujue. So right now you have the advantage of age. Uko na age you have your future uh, ahead of you. You can cram stuff, you can memorize stuff. So we were still on the ledge. What can is your limit to a relationship? You could be having a false sense of responsibility in another area. Let me give you an example. I have a friend when he alikuwa anataka nga kukuwa a pilot. But the dad alimwambia you must be an engineer. 
So he had a full sense of responsibility whereby yenda abiti whereby yenda bebeba nyota ya familia. Kama si mimi sisi kwetu tunaenda kuanguka because ni mimi ndo lazima ni engineer. So he was telling me by the time he was graduating alimaliza alipelekea babake karatasi kambia dad ndo hii sio nataka engineer chukua. And then yeye akaenda kwa DJ in fact imagine. Akaenda kwa DJ because he was doing a false sense of responsibility. Najua mko shule wengi wenyu wana practice false sense of responsibility bila hata kujua. Umejiwekea burden ya kwenu kwa shoulder yako na kama si mimi unajua hata kwetu wakona mtu ameenda kampo na vitu kama hizo. Hizo ndo pressure nataka muongee mzitoe. Watu wache kukufanya depression. My name is Graham Murevi. The first responsibility that I can give is that uh, most most young young people out here unajipata kwa life umejiwekea umekewa like lazima wewe ndo unafaa ku provide for your family like in my current situation right now i'm the first i'm the first one maybe to go to go to campus so for now wani ngoja that i'll provide for my family kila mtu hata wenye wako mbele yangu so <laughs> You find that maybe my mom has uh, the first salary in Tapata ni kiajiriwa inafaa kufanya this and that maybe nafaa ni mjenge and I have my life my life to live so unapata hiyo kitu inakupea challenge like lazima usome lazima upass unapata like the finances you to get inalimitiwa inafaa kuenda mali fulani so I think that's a challenge Tulipokutana tukajuana tukazoeana sasa twapendana akiwa na mbali aka uwe nami ndio kila kitu nataka niishi nawe tulipokutana tukajuana tukazoeana sasa twapendana akiwa na mbali aka uwe nami ndio kila kitu nataka niishi nawe tupige picha moja tuweke kwa ukuta na iwe kumbukumbu ya maisha we be gone we are living forever ndaiela <laughs> Mimi na pika kila place mimi naenda nikiwa sense of responsibility tukaongea ya pili nimesema nini eh, age mko na advantage ya age si ndio now the third one and the final one ni mindset okay the the mindset mindset ndio ita, itatusaidia sana as we are as we are dealing with the, with the mental health as the last point hapa nataka mchangie sana story ya, ya mindset there's a lecturer Uh, who intentionally set a wrong question and then after the wrong question kuna a guy alikuja kumwambia excuse me sir uh, i can't seem to get this question inaonekana kuna problem with the question because i party but then there was a lady who came akasema uh, excuse me sir i can't get this question i don't know what is the problem with me mnaona tofauti like ladies personalized it wanapenda ikukua na hiyo it's me maybe ni mimi ndo siku msaa vizuri akaniacha so your mindset can also play a very key role in matters of your mental health i want us uh, just a few people mtatuambia like what are some of the things enye ulipitia enye una feel if your mindset would have been different that thing would not have led you to do whatever we find us my name is melanin generation i'm a musician i'm also a student at grace university people say there and uh, young people actually they need to change their mindset from i don't chase i attract you know there are people like i need to work hard you no know? i need to work extremely hard to get this just be the attract okay be the reason why people should come to you not don't be chasing people i have something that people should always be coming to you for see it clear time where we and uh, let me call him let me call them you know let them call you most of the time look fine to get your joy it's always be you sir thank you thank you happy my coffee kwake thank you guys for the conversation we have to end it at that i think jipigeni makofi nyinyi wote you've done a great job
Asanteni sana. Thank you for the, your, your talks and your, and your opinions. I'm going to time poor sana. There you have it, guys. I mean, such an insightful conversation right here. What do you mean? And I'm really excited just, you know, just to sit down for once at least nika kachi, nika skiza, and also get to learn a couple of things from other people and amazing persons right here from Greta University. They call me the Trendsetter segment to hang out. I'm pretty excited. I mean, um, I wish we could do this more often and I'm pretty excited just to be here with these young people. I mean, I wish we had like talk about Nakujapa Tafanya a series. I'm not sure. Sindio, Trudy Tena Tena, sio? Trudy Tena? All right, so we're going to be having a part two on this conversation, mental health and young people. Segments we hang out, tell us where you'd like us to come and hang out with you. Use the hashtag at Public NTV across all our social media platforms. Until next week, same place, same time, adios.